everybody, welcome to One Drink, a podcast where we talk about one topic for one drink. I'm Matthew. And I'm Oliver. And today we are talking about, do attractive people get away with more? Yes. No, because I don't get away with anything. Uh, same, right? <laughs> oh my God. So we're going to establish two things on this show. <laughs> right. One, that we're ugly. Yes. Apparently. <laughs> and two, that good looking people get away with more. Show. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And um, I was just telling him before the show, I was like, hey... You know, I normally don't get free anything anywhere. I was like, but when he bartended, I got a lot of free drinks. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just trying to support my uh, fellow ugly people. You know, you know what I, I mean? <laughs> ugly people so, deserve wins, too. Yes, that is so true. Um, but I will say this, you know, um, and this is just reality, right? Yeah. Hot women get on social media tons and tons of views. Yep. No matter what they do. Yep. They could just sit there and pick their nose and they're getting a million views, right? Yep. If we had a very beautiful woman in the middle sitting with us, co-host, yapping it up with us, I can almost guarantee you yep. we'd have a lot more views. Dude, or even if we had a dude in here that was like... Or even a... In our oh, yeah. chiseled fucking stupid face. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just coming in. Hey, nope, but then there's, then there's us. <laughs> short and skinny. <laughs> awesome. Just, and then we would have so many views just because of this dude. Like, chicks would be... <laughs> <laughs> nope, but then there's us. Oh, man. And there's us. So, yes, we are going to discuss do attractive people get away with I feel like more. I feel like more of what we're going to discuss is how we're not attractive <laughs> than we thought that we were. But then it might make us look, <laughs> by the end of the show, we might. Maybe people will feel bad for us. <laughs> feel a little more attractive they're because gonna... they're going to be like, no, they're not that bad. I mean, <laughs> no, right? <laughs> That's like what I've always strived for. You know what I mean? I just want somebody to look at me and be like, oh, yeah. All right. And, th cute. and then they're always like, I mean, you got all your hair. But he's funny. I mean, you, he, right. But he's funny. <laughs> but they're funny. You got a good sense of humor. You know? That's that's like the, the nicest way you can tell somebody that they're not good looking. Kind of. Right. You know. I love your personality. <laughs> <laughs> he's just such a great guy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So he's ugly. Uh, got it. And then you're just like, all right, well, was that a compliment or was mm -hmm. that an insult or right. yeah, she's so sweet <laughs> oh. <laughs> get him back no. with that <laughs> oh man that's fantastic oh man okay so attractive it's people do they get away with the more shallowest show we've ever done yeah yeah um when they ask for help um so i mean we've all been in this scenario yeah i mean we're older we've been through and seen pretty much everything we've been around beautiful women before blah 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 you know we it, we've seen it a lot yeah even with dudes i guess right attractive yeah. dudes i mean good just if if <clears throat> if someone is trying if someone is asking somebody for help mm -hmm. right and the person that's being asked for help feels like the person that's asking for the help is attractive yeah i i guarantee you they are 10 times more likely to help easy man or woman yep they are absolutely more likely to help oh yeah it's just a it's just a yeah it's just a, a biological yeah. thing like and, and for me though the older i've gotten for me like if anyone needs help i don't even think yes you know agreed if agreed. anyone needs help i'm gonna help them regardless of whatever it is because i always us not being attractive we're not gonna get help so we need those good Samaritans out there to be like... The only help I get is from my fellow ugly <laughs> friends that I ask for help. And I'll tell you what, though. Although good-looking people may, be, may get help more often than not, yeah. if an ugly person asks another ugly person for help, that's the ticket right there. It's a guarantee. Guaranteed help. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed help. Yeah. Um, so, yes, asking for help, no matter who it is... Yeah. Um, I'm helping. Yeah, you know. I just, I've always been. Well, I've always tried to be at least like I, I'd like to help. Oh hell yeah, people. Um, so I mean, I guess it doesn't. I don't help good-looking people more often than I help yeah. non-good-looking people. But yeah. there's always that you get that feeling when someone very attractive comes up and asks you for help. You're like, yeah. Would you like me to move Mount Everest? Because <laughs> I can try. <laughs> 
That's what I'm saying. Oh, you just need directions. <laughs> oh, it's over there. Oh, that's boring. Yeah. My house is that way. <laughs> In case you were ever in the neighborhood, uh, um, I live right there. Uh, this next one, tips. So this one's like Pandora's box for me, oh, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I, I mean, I think just generally, yes. I, I, you know, it has to be. Attractive people will probably get better tips. However, <clears throat> coming from the service industry, yep. the hospitality industry, I am more likely to tip someone better if they do a better job. Service, right? And I'll tell you what, the yeah. dynamic that any good bar will set up, that any good bar manager will set up on their bar mm -hmm. is they have one person that's attractive, okay. or two maybe, yep. to generate, to bring in those people. But then there's always a workhorse always. on the bar yeah. that is a better bartender than any of the ones that look that yeah. are better looking. The attractive people. Yeah. yeah. And there is always that workhorse. Now, sometimes that one's the attractive one, too, but that's like finding a unicorn. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get somebody that's extremely hot and is just a, in, choo, 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 just choo. an unbelievable bartender, but those are the people that like low-key make like $100,000 a year just bartending. That's what I'm you saying. You know what I'm saying? If you're good looking and you're a good bartender, <sighs> she Also, is. what if you own a bar and you got like a good attractive dude and then you got a good attractive woman and they're both... Oh, well, then you hit the lottery. You're That's just never happened, though. Why is this bar so packed all the time? Right. Oh, because... Oh, because there, there's... <laughs> that dude's fucking awesome, and there's a ton of chicks around him. That chick's attractive, and there's a ton of dudes around him, and they're both working their balls off? Yeah. Oh, I get it. That's when you go and find the owner and just shake his hand. Or her hand, or whatever. Lucky. But, yeah, it's just like, man, you hit the lottery. You better pay them whatever they want. To oh, easy. In there. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, it's like hitting the lottery on that one. Yep. So tips, of course, you know, no matter what. Now even, so I just saw a thing the other day, like who you're supposed to tip, like just in general. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's crazy, the list. Like you're supposed to tip like, uh, on the list, I think there was like the cable guy or something, and then the garbage man, like all these things that like, We'll have to do. We'll have to do a show on it. You'll your jaw will drop. I mean, I feel like I tip a decent amount of people. Yeah. I mean, the obvious ones are you know servers and bartenders. Yep. Barbers. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Um. Yeah. But like, whenever I've gotten like a delivery, like a big delivery of something, like a fridge or you know something that's got to get moved into yeah. the house for me, so I usually tip that driver. Yep. Some stuff. Um, like the moving people. You know, to be honest, I, I in my mind, so I don't know why, but I always have like a lot of garbage that I put out on the curb. You right. know what I mean? It's almost, almost never just the tote, right? right? I got an extra, an extra can that's out there or, you know, uh, uh, something that's big or some scrap wood or just, yeah. and shout out to my garbage guys because... I don't think they're supposed to take in the little contract thing. Uh -huh. it says, oh, yeah. It yeah. says they won't take non totes, right? Oh. Like anything that's not their, like in their tote, they're technically like not supposed to take that stuff. What? Like in the contract, yeah. And that's with like all garbage companies too. They're not, if it's not in their tote, yeah. they're not, they say that they won't take it. And a lot of them won't. Holy shit. Now, I'm not going to mention who my garbage people are. Yeah, for because sure. Because I don't want. You want the same great My service. My stuff, they take everything. Oh, that's so cool. They, they do. They take everything. Unless it's like something that's way too big, but people come and take. Well, nothing yeah, yeah. has ever lasted on yeah. the curb at my house. doesn't matter if it's an old ass pallet or a <laughs> uh, broke chair or a grill that's half falling apart. Yeah. People will come and get it. I really want to leave something for my garbage men, and I tell myself that all the time, and I just, I like, I forget. Oh, yeah. I remember, like, when I see them taking the trash, I'm like, damn, I should have left them yeah. you know, a box of donuts or... Anything. Like, right? an envelope taped to the lid that says, thank yeah. you. Don't throw something. away. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what gets me, though? I want to find out if, like, I have a regular person that always does the route for me. Because my worst fear is that, like, I leave a 20 or something. Oh, right. And it, it's like a guy that it's, just, it's their first time. You know what I mean? It's not the guy that deals with all of the shit that I yeah. can throw out there on a weekly basis. Yeah. Like, even right now, dude, I just took my garbage out this morning because I get picked up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it, I, I got The tote is full with the lid popping open because there's too much shit in it. Right? It's probably way too heavy because there's, dude, there's like a couple random bricks in there. 
Jesus. Like yeah. maybe a couple paint cans that shouldn't be in there. Yeah. And the, <laughs> but then I have another just one of those round black oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. garbage cans. That's full. And then I have a whole another big bag that's full of like Holy Dude, there's God. mad shit. There's mad shit. And they're going to come tomorrow, yeah. and they're going to scoop all of it. Right. You're like you would tip the like the dude that's getting trained for the first day. Yeah. That quits the next day. Yeah. <laughs> it, would be his, or it would be like his first solo run. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he just got out of training, and boom, he hits my house. Like, and, I love this dude. Yo, oh, where'd fuck? you get that tip from? <laughs> Middle road. Fuck, I've been, been taking this sh- for... Oh, man. That would be you cool. owe me some drinks, buddy. I just get out there next time the guy's just standing there. <laughs> now the no, now just the toter's gone. And I know, right? <laughs> we got everything else. I have to start putting 20s on like all the stu- uh, all the extra stuff. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> now I'm going broke. Damn. <laughs> all right. Here's another uh, scenario. Dating options. I mean, this is just a no-brainer. Yes, but also on the flip side... You know, when you're out and you see attractive, for us women, you know, we're like, yeah, we don't got a shot with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, it's because we're wiser now than we <laughs> used to be. True. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then we're just like, you know, the average, you know, whoever, you know, is good, good personality, mm-hmm. you know, everything that goes along with that. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes, obviously, when we were younger, we would, you know, attempt Anything, I'm assuming, right? Yep. <clears throat> so, I guess it kind of goes both ways, maybe? Yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah. I don't, so, I feel like, though, I don't know. When you're, I feel like when you're, like, at that level of attractive, you know what I mean? And attractiveness can go a lot of different ways. Because, you know, somebody that you see that you think is attractive might not be at that same level for me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So, for everybody's sure. got... You their know, own. their own their own personal taste and stuff. But there are people that are in that small percentage way at the top where it, it doesn't matter who you ask. Be like, oh, do you think so-and-so is good looking? Just like, J-Lo, for example. Right. There's no man in the world that's like, no, she's right. ugly. She's like, g- At least she's pretty to some somebody who thinks she's... Right. Well, know. and she's like 50 now. I know. And she's still hot. Jeez Louise. She's still hot. What's well, like Jennifer Aniston. <sighs> Her she, too? I think she's pushing like 60. Yeah, and still. It's, it's, <laughs> so, where was I going with that? I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, no, but I feel like <clears throat> at that point, like when you are that attractive person, yeah. I wonder if they think like, man, are they just dating me because of my... It has to be, right? You know what I mean? Or, or you're just an arrogant... Douchebag. Cocky, you yeah. know. Yeah. I can get anyone or... I hate those fucking... You things. know? And that's... I hate those people. Oh yeah, that are just. I like. I love when you find a person that's like on that, like a ten, like a nine or a ten. Oh yeah. But they don't know that they're a nine or a ten. Isn't that amazing? Like, and And they have like no makeup, and they're just so humble, and they're just. (laughs) You know what I mean? Again, it's unicorns, though, dude. Yeah. Speaking of unicorns, I'm gonna go on a real tangent on this one. (laughs) Well, speaking of unicorns, remember? I don't know if I told you, but Lonnie. Um, watched this show once on Netflix called Unicorn Academy. It's about these girls that get taken to this magical forest castle thing and they're chosen to be unicorn riders and they have to go out into these yeah. the magic forest and, and find a unicorn that they bond with. And Holy moly. Like it's cool, right. Yeah. So I take Lonnie out on the four-wheeler in the woods behind the house all the time. We go riding. <clears throat> and we went out once earlier this year because um, she wanted to go searching for unicorns. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm in. Let's go. Oh, wheeling unicorns. Let's go. <clears throat> so we do that all the time. And um, we were playing the other day, and she was looking at the tattoo that was on my shoulder. <clears throat> and um, she was like, are you going to get more tattoos? I was like, yeah. I was like, I've been planning on getting more tattoos for forever. And I just, you know, I just have it. <laughs> and I was like, do you want me to, well, I was like, do you want me to get a tattoo? Do you want to pick my next tattoo? And she was like. Oh, and I was like, yeah. I was like, okay. I said, I'll let you pick. I said, you can pick whatever you want, and Daddy will get a tattoo of that. And yeah. She was like, a unicorn, and I was like, just like that. All right, cool. Getting a unicorn <laughs> tattoo. There so, you go. Um, but she's been wanting to get her ears pierced. Um, and Jackie and I were talking about it, so we're going to let her get her ears pierced. Yep. Um, Jackie's going to get another piercing with her oh, okay. while yeah, she yeah, gets yeah. the piercing. 
But we want to go to like an actual, like a legitimate, you oh, know, yeah. like a tattoo slash piercing place that actually oh, it looks does like it. it's going to be all one Whatever. thing. So tattoo. I'm also going to get yeah. I'm also going to try to schedule the tattoo at the same time so that they can get the piercings. I'll get my tattoo. So now I got to find a dope. Yeah. I got to figure out a dope unicorn tattoo. They're so, out there. But she wants me to get it up here. So. Yep. And all you got to yeah. Now, do we find an attractive woman tattoo artist? No, because they're probably not as good. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I don't know. I need to, I got to find a, a fucking tattoo artist. So that, you know, what's my problem is, so I always wanted, I don't know if I talked to you about this, because I feel like we've talked about tattoos a million times. <clears throat> um, I like the trash polka style of mm. tattoos. I don't know if you... It's it's not a super popular, like, kind of... If you saw pictures... Yeah. I'll show you pictures later, you yeah. know what I mean? Anyways. Um, but it's not, like, a thing um, that, like, a lot of people, like, specialize in. Yeah. And I had a lot of bad luck with this one Bella. on my shoulder. The first thing that I got done, it was terrible. And it I left it unfinished for a long time because I just... I hated the way that it came out. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And you know, one of the one of the most difficult things to try to do is to try to get an artist to work on either uh, a started or try and fix yeah. an existing tattoo. Because most artists don't want to touch that stuff because yeah. they don't want <clears throat> to be attached to... So my buddy that I actually went to elementary school with owns a tattoo shop in town. Nice. Uh, Vintage Electric. I don't know if you've heard, heard of it or not. But yeah, my buddy Austin owns that. I went to... Literally went to elementary school with him. Like, <clears throat> kindergarten. We yeah. were in class together. He worked on it for me and added some stuff and and helped it a lot. Yeah. Um, but like, I really want to find like a good the, the guy that I like the best. His name is Michael Cloutier. Um, he's French Canadian. Mm. Dude, his stuff is unreal. Yeah. But he's like two hundred dollars an hour. That's how a lot of them are now. It's oh yeah. But I mean, if you saw, I'll show you. Anyways. Yeah. I'm so off track. Sorry yeah. that I got us down that. <clears throat> but I do want a tattoo as well. Know. I can't wait. One drink tattoos. All right. I can't wait for that tattoo now. It's stuck in my head. Which one? The one drink one? Uh, or is this, this a uh, tattoo? Uh, many more. Yep. Just fucking fill me up. Okay. So, attractive people. Do they get away with more? Did we do this one? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> so, do they get away with more? The only scenario I can think of is because when you do something wrong, you do something wrong regardless if you're hot or not, right? Cops. Yeah. Right? 100%. I mean, it's just reality that if a cop pulls you over, and I mean, nine times out of a ten, if it's a hot woman, and the crime is not that crazy, you know, whatever. Yeah. They'll get off with a warning. See ya. Yeah. Right? You yeah. ever gotten. Me? Have a nice day, sir. Um. Yeah, yo, oh, yeah, a few times. God, you might be attractive, yeah. then, dude. No, well, one of them, <laughs> one of them, the dude was in a rush. Um, that was a blessing from the Lord above because I would have been screwed. Another time, they, um, you know, just stupid shit. But he was just like, "Okay, go ahead." I've gotten away once. Yeah, which to me is proof positive that I am not attractive. <laughs> And the only reason that I got away that he let me go, because yeah. he took my shit to go write a ticket, mm -hmm. and then he literally came out of his car and came running back to the car, gave me my stuff, gave me a verbal warning. He was like, this is your lucky day. I just got a big call. I got to go. Yeah, same thing. And he ran back to his car and then peeled out, yeah. went the other direction. You know how cool it would be if the cop that pulled me over and that cop that pulled you over... <laughs> <laughs> Did the, was this in Rochester? Um, no, it was a it was a sheriff, um, but it was in Menden. Oh, okay. It just would have been cool if you know they were on the same call and they were just like at the same time we're getting pulled over and they're just like, all right, this is your because that's the same shit that happened to me and then the dude just took off and I was like, oh, thank you. I wish you. we could remember like what the date was. Thank on you, Lord. No, I said the same thing, dude. <laughs> I just sat there. I sat there on the shoulder. And I was just like, <sighs> yeah, same here. Because it was, he, he popped me for speeding um, coming into Menden oh. um, from like Bloomfield. But the speed limit drops from like 55 to 35. Yeah, I hate that. And he was sitting like. Right by the sign. Three feet away from the fucking sign. Yep. You know what I mean? <clears throat> or the se actually the second sign he was sitting. And I, I didn't, I just, I, I literally just missed 
yeah, the first sign. I, I, I didn't <clears throat> know the second one was there. So, like, I was starting to slow down when I saw him, like, in the distance. Too and late. I was like, I was like, son of a bitch. And I was going, like, 60. Yeah. 65, maybe. So, I think I may have been slowed down 70. to 55. Because <laughs> that's what he said he got me at was 55. And he was like, oh, you know, speed limit changes right now. I was like, I... I was like, other than the sign that you were just sitting next to, I was like, I didn't see another one. He was like, oh, yeah, there's another one. Yep. Right back there. I was like, Fuck. Same thing happened to me going to Newark. There's this little village. You, I, you slow down to 30. And then up a little bit more, I know it turns 55. Mm -hmm. So I just started, started going started before. Going. Yeah. yeah. And there he was. So we there. literally just did the opposite. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just, and then at the light, and this is at 430 in the morning. So, I mean, I guess I get it. Oh, was this recent? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Two weeks ago. Oh, well, and it wasn't the same. This was like 10 years ago. Yeah, and I'm just going, and then, you know, he's like, you know, I pulled you over. I was like, well, I, he's like, well, where are you going? I was like, well, I blah, blah, blah. I got to get to the hospital. This, He's like, oh, okay. And, you know, and I was like, yeah, dude, I know. I, I travel through here every Friday. I'm sure you've seen me. You sit here every right. Friday. <laughs> you know, you know who I am. So, yeah, screw that. But that's the only thing I could think about getting away with. You know? Yeah. Because regardless, you do something wrong, attractive or not. Yeah. And, you know, I got to say, I feel like, um, so you and I have lived now through several decades. Yes. <laughs> just tough to, <clears throat> to talk about. Um, I feel like in the 90s and early 2000s, this subject was more prevalent than it is now. <clears throat> because I feel like people nowadays are so afraid of like that cancel culture. Oh, easy. Because they don't want to let good looking people get away with stuff Yo, yeah. to make it look like they're being impartial. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well, because you know, back then there wasn't social media. So people aren't seeing or judging. Uh, that's or, true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like everything, everyone has an opinion. Yeah. So, you know, regardless of what it is, you know, now chicks and dudes want to be, you know, yeah. the perfect. And it's, it's so funny though that you were saying earlier, you know what I mean? Now that we're getting older, um, it's, it's some of that stuff just seems so irrelevant. Yes, yeah. exactly. I know. Irrelevant. Yeah. Like, I don't care that you're good looking or not. Could like, care I'm less. So past it. Yes. Like, and it's just literally don't mean that's shit. That's why, that's why older people always tell you it's not always about looks. And they're so because right. you just care about it less. Why yeah. don't they just say that? Be like in 10, in 15 years, you're not going to care about looks that much. Yeah. Yes, because, I will. Because they're right. My chick's going to be fine. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. And it's like, bro, if you do, good for you. Great. You know? But you are going to learn that, you know... It literally just doesn't matter that yeah. much anymore. And she's not going to be that hot forever. Nope. Some chicks, maybe, you know. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. But especially... I mean, it's for, crazy getting older. Yeah, yeah. Like, your, your whole thought process changes yeah so like if i went out now right and if i was single and i went out i think it would be more of a joke so like if we went out yeah it would be more of a joke like yo watch this oliver right i'm gonna go up to this chick and blah 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 yeah. you know and to now where it would be like dude yeah you're like you'll be back in five seconds yeah <laughs> when before it would be like Fucking do it. You We're know. prepping Fucking up. Do it. We just, do it. Come on, on, man. I'll go talk to him first. <laughs> yeah. Let's go try. Even though we'd still be sitting back down in five seconds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, it doesn't matter what, yeah. you know, what we do. But I, and it's so funny. I would much rather sit down and have a conversation with somebody that I thought was oh, for decent sure. looking. For sure. Like average. Yep. And yep. just, it was just a good. And ultimately. Chat, rather than go after like the hottest person in yeah. the room. Because, you know, nine times out of ten, that's some sustenance now. That chick is just, A, boring that's or just empty. all about herself. Or empty. Empty. Yeah. Just empty. Because she's, you know, whatever. Yeah. But you said it before. Ultimately, you said this a couple shows, million shows back. But you were like, ultimately, you have to be attracted somehow, some way to the person you're talking yes, to. Yes, 100%. So it doesn't have to necessarily be looks. Of course, you want a decent looking person. Yeah. But also, you know, it really isn't all about, you know, being no, super definitely attractive. Not. Definitely not. But you still need to be physically attracted to the person yes. that you're with. Yes. You know what I mean? 100%. But the, the, what you see as attractive is your thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as long as I think that's what most people need 
to really understand is that <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you think the person that I'm with is good looking. Mm -hmm. I think the person that I'm with yeah. is good looking. And that's what should matter to people. But I think that this world is so superficial that everybody cares about what everybody else thinks about the person that they're with. Oh, yeah. And they don't aren't looking at. I know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're not happy unless they think that every other person in the room yeah. wants the chick that they're with. It's like, yeah. what are you talking about? Yep. You know what I mean? Like, that's <clears throat> just... And that's the one thing with this so show stupid. that I have come to terms with is like, we don't always get good feedback, right? No. <laughs> we get made fun of. We have shit said to us about yep. it, but ultimately, who gives I a shit? Care. <laughs> exactly. I have fun doing this show. I like the way we do the show. And that's it. That's, that's it. it. But we've also never been in this for anything. True. Other than a good time. Just laugh we for two this hours. Show to have a good time. Like, that's you know it. what I mean? Uh, we get to hang out a few times a month. Yeah. Chat about funny shit. And then that's it. Yeah. And that's it changes, why we do It changes show. up our routine. Right. If we get a million views, great. Yeah. If we get four views, yeah. Great. A four views and a you guys suck. <laughs> hey. Thank thanks you for watching. <laughs> you still watched it though. Oh, oh yeah. You get so butthurt about like negative <clears throat> criticism. I know. And it's just like, why? Yeah. It's like, do you really think that you're going to make everybody, that yeah. everybody's going to like the shit that you're doing? And I will say this I had a friend who wasn't the most attractive person. And this was when I was younger growing up. Was it me? He. <laughs> He was a bigger, like, just... No, not me. Whatever, dude. He had the greatest... He had a great personality. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. He had charm. He had... He had. A, he was just a nice dude, right? Yeah. All around nice dude. This dude was pulling chicks. Mm -hmm. Hot chicks. Any chick he wanted. Because uh, he just had it. He had, he had that thing. I swear to God, it's humor oh, that... Yeah. that I would put humor above looks in a in a straight heads up contest. Oh, easy. You take you take a you take a, a guy that's a seven. Yep. And a guy that's a ten, mm -hmm. right? And you give the guy that's a seven a good humorous personality. Yep. yep. And you put them face to face against the same group yep. of chicks. I'm taking. I'm putting my money on the seven. Always. Yeah. yeah. Every time. And I mean, this dude was—he was. And this dude wasn't even a seven. This dude was like a five. Bro. <laughs> bro. But humor he had, must have been great. <laughs> he humor had, was a ten. He had it. He was yep. witty humor. I mean, this yep. dude. And like, he was. I mean, at the time, he was one of the greatest wingmen ever that I've witnessed in Rochester for being who he was. No fear. I mean, so yeah. All right, let's get back to this. Yeah. Um, Dress badly. So so I'm assuming if you dress badly, you still look attractive? So, yeah. So I hate, um, like, all the trends and fads that, like, come out for fashion. Oh, for I'm sure. not a fashion guy. I, I mean, I... Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. I'm not... I, I just... I just don't care. And I think most stuff looks really stupid, to be honest with right. you. I'm We're not going to... I'm more of, like, a simple kind of guy. He's, yeah. You know what I mean? T-shirt, polo, whatever. I... Yeah. Shorts, and, shoes. You know, t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, yeah. jeans. I mean, that's the world that I live in. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But then you got all these these dumbass shoes <sighs> and boot, and then just, just clothes that feel like they're in the way. <laughs> like, you know it's what too, I mean? It's too much. Like, you can't do shit because <laughs> you're wearing this. You know what I mean? Like, what, what are you talking about? You can't go do this because of the boots that you're wearing? Yeah. And then, remember... You gotta be joking. <laughs> and then it's those tight elastic... Pants yeah, oh, that like, dude. oh my god, I, uh, yeah. Or yeah, so that when they bend over, they gotta like, they gotta go like this, yeah. so like they don't. Or they roll their things oh, up. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand that shit. So even the most attractive person, guy or girl, <clears throat> I mean, for girls, I guess it's different because they just pretty much wear nothing. That's their forte, right? Okay, that sundresses. I'm okay, <sighs> my weakness. I think it's every guy's weakness. It could be a full. Revealing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Right? Just hey, I'm in a sun. I think it's the flow in I'm in a sundress and you're just like, what is it yeah. about that sundress? And you know, I think one thing too <laughs> that's so captivating about that is the sundress season in upstate New York. 
is so small mm -hmm. that we only get it for a couple months a year. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, if you live in Florida or California or whatever, it's like year round. It it, it's like you get numb to it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? For us, it's like, oh, it's so dry season. Two months. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it's like a, a holiday for us yeah. men. And when you women wear these sundresses. Yeah. And I mean. And then unfortunately for us, we get six months of Uggs. <laughs> which in I in sweatshirts hate and hate Uggs so much. Even dude. on an attractive person? Yes. <laughs> dude. Yes. I think they're fucking terrible. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like the way that they look. Yeah. I don't like the way that they get nasty and just, they look like a wet <laughs> fucking dog, dude. And then they I get them mean, fucking salt marks on there. Oh, and yeah. you can't even fucking clean them, dude. And they're, they're not just, even... They're just, it looks like a wet dish rag yeah. wrapped around your foot. And they're it's, not real boots to be worn out in the winter. No. I'm assuming. I don't no. know. I've never they're had just, them. But. They just, I think they're so stupid. Yeah. I just cannot stand them. Yep. I can't yeah. stand them. Uh, Thank God for me, Jackie also doesn't like them. I was like, I can't fucking see. Yeah, and then you get. Do you ever see the man Uggs? The I've mug, seen. I've seen one dude wear those once, and I a couldn't stop looking, b couldn't stop laughing, and then in my head I was like, why the fuck is he wearing those? And I've I mean, seen them new rubber ones, like them all, like them silicone boots. Oh yeah, dude. that like come up to here. With like the weird like rib around, and yeah. then they're like tight, and then they get like big again. Yeah. You seen them it's shits? Ridiculous. Yo. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I and don't I, know I, what fucking robot fantasy <clears throat> world we're fucking living in. And there's the thing is like, I know what I could pull off and maybe not pull off. Mm -hmm. I guess. You know what I mean? I know my lane. But yeah, but like as we're older, like we don't give a fuck. No. I'm in the dad lane. Yeah. This is it. This is it, right here. This is the dad lane. You yeah. know what I mean? Shorts, t-shirt. That's it. Ankle socks. Yeah. I'm not giving up the ankle socks. Right. Because of the, the long eight, ones again. In the 80s, when I was growing up, the long ones were for the dad. Yeah. And now it's back. It's back. Not for the dads. <laughs> not for the dads. Oh, uh, fuck. I can't stand that <clears throat> long sock like and like the slip-ons. Yeah. I don't like that. Oh, no? If you're going to wear slip-ons, too, just take your socks off. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Um, I just hate feet. All right, that's looking, fair. I hate looking at that's feet. That's fair. You're not doing it for the look. Though. I know. You're doing it for no. For if there's a reason. Yeah, I that's do, what I'm saying. I do it at the gym because I have socks that are compression socks. Yeah. So see, those, that has a function. Well, yeah, that's true. I won't wear them out. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're not intentionally going to put on long white <laughs> socks and slips and then just go out. So, Oliver, uh, right. you want to go to a... Not with you. <laughs> not looking like that. I'm going to show up at your door one day. I'm just going to go buy an outfit and have like a like a 19-year-old like pick it for me. Oh, what's dude. popular. And then I'm just going to show up at the door one day. For a show, and, and dude, just see your. I'm just. I'm gonna like wear my GoPro too, and so I can right. film your reaction. I'm just gonna be like, dude, what? <laughs> You're just gonna open the door and be like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> oh my lord, dude! So you you remember Ryan from Quimby's, right? He shaved our heads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we yeah. <clears> had <throat> one of our servers came in wearing just I don't know. Something says some weird ass shit. So stupid. Right. So I'm standing back by the dish pit. The server's in the, ser in the service station. And I'm just like staring. I'm just looking. I'm like, what is what, happening right What is here? that? And I was like, I was like, I can't say anything because I'm not that guy. Yeah. Like to initially bring something up. Dude, Ryan comes around the corner out of the kitchen. <laughs> looks at the server. Looks down and goes, What the fuck are those? <laughs> Yo, what were I, they? Dude, I, I don't even know, dude. They're just some weird ass shoes, dude. But he, he fucking, he didn't even see them for five seconds, dude. He he, meanwhile, I've been standing back there for like five minutes waiting to say that. <laughs> Yo, I almost fell on the floor. I was laughing so, so hard. <laughs> You're like, I wanted like, to say that. He was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just 
Why just quietly died in the? In the this was a server that worked there. Oh Lord, have mercy! He never heard the end of that, huh? <laughs> he probably quit. <laughs> she, she. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Oh my God, dude, it was so good. <laughs> uh, all right, <sighs> receiving patience. I mean, I don't have patience for anybody. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Hot, ugly, anything. Patience is patience. Patience right? is patience, and it's. Yeah. I just don't have it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good you look. Oh, <clears throat> see, but this one's a little different. So it says uh, the one. This person had a stutter, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. So they had patience with her. Well, yeah, but it's because they had something nice to look at while they were waiting for them to finish the <laughs> right. The and then the other dude didn't have a. You know. <laughs> so yes, you're exactly right. So I get. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that kind of in certain scenarios, I guess it's right. you know. But I mean, that's like that's like anything though. Like if you're if you're taking a shit and you have your phone, yeah, you don't mind waiting to finish taking a shit. When you go to take a shit and you don't have your phone though, you're done, dude. <laughs> That's the longest 15 minutes <laughs> in the world, dude. Like in the world, you're like, come on, come on. Let's Same finish. thing with waiting for somebody that's. To, like especially like with the stuttering right like you know you got to just sit there and wait because you don't want to be rude exactly you know what i mean you want to be nice you want to yeah. be courteous but, and if i got a pretty face to look at while i'm i'll just yeah well then you can stare and it's not awkward it's very not because i'm just waiting for you're just like oh, i'm being polite yeah i'm politely all right looking at your amazing face yeah and i don't even care about the stutter yep. keep talking. i get to stare at you for keep longer talking. yeah keep Take talking as long as you want. <laughs> stutter away uh, get the benefit of the doubt. Um, I can't, for me... You know, I feel like this is the total opposite for me. <clears throat> I feel like I don't trust right. good-looking people more often. Because I feel like they're using their looks... They know. To tr they know, yeah. yeah. Unless you find the unicorns that they, they have no clue how hot they are. You yeah. can tell those kind of people immediately. Oh, yeah. One, 60 seconds. Mm-hmm. And you know if someone oh, yeah. knows how good looking they are or right not. away. You right can away. absolutely tell immediately. Yep. I don't care what anybody says. Yep. And um, I think you're so right about this because they know and they'll try to persuade you kind yeah. of into like. Yeah. And then you give them yep. the better of the doubt. You're like, uh. Mm -hmm. And then no, you're I'll just be like, like I think the hotter you are, the more shady I think you are. Yes. Right? Well, just it's not, not shady. Intentionally, but, but just because. <laughs> You we know, know subconsciously that you can use your looks, right? As a as a chip, you know what I'm we saying. We have like, wisdom. It's a right because we're ugly. <laughs> we, we know what looking <laughs> people trying to get over on us our whole lives. <laughs> you can't play that shit with me. We know what you're thinking. Yeah, you ain't fooling us. Uh, all right, last one. Attractive people being mean. Hmm. I think this kind of plays into the last one. I don't think that overly attractive people are mean intentionally. I just think that people get them misconstrued a lot because it they comes off that use way. their looks for things. Yeah. But you can't really blame someone that's good looking for using their looks because they have looks. So why wouldn't you use it? Right. It's like asking a smart person. That's like being mad at a smart person for being smart. And they just come off snobby. Like, you're just like, oh, just because right. you think you're smart. Like that's their you strength know I mean? is their intelligence. So <laughs> you're mad because they're smarter than you, right? Or are you mad because you're dumb? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm dumb. It's like, like, are you, like I'm not saying it's cool for them to be mean, but right. And, and look at attractive people. I'm assuming they have to be mean at some point because they've heard everything. You know, especially being out, getting hit on, or whatever, or this yeah. or that, or wherever you are. Yeah. You know. It's kind of like, you know, yeah. you're just like, but I, fuck you, buddy. Or I feel like there, a lot of them are just too much with it. Yeah, like, they're just too into you themselves. Just, you can't be mean because you're. Why are okay. you talking to me? Right. What? Bitch. Because I want to say hello. Nope. Because I thought you were hot, but now no. you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're just a bitch. <laughs> now you're just mean. So nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Karen. I'm going to go back to my ugly friends. Uh, so, yes. Do attractive people get away with more? It's kind of a toss-up. I would say yes for the most part. I feel part. like overall, yes. But there are scenarios where, you know, they get a no. There are scenarios where it's not better to be 
Yeah. Good looking. Yep. Yeah. And I, I, I don't Which know. It's like, I feel like where we fit in. You know what I mean? Or at least me personally. I feel like I'm in that, like. We're in the mediocre range. Six and a half to eight range, maybe on a good day. We're middle. You know what I mean? Yeah, mid, a little above high. I feel like on the higher end of middle. Yeah. Yeah. Six or seven ish. Seven ish. I'm good with like a steady, consistent seven, seven and a half. Yeah. That's where I feel like I sit. I mean, I'm, I'm good cool with, with that. I'm cool with a six. I'm cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, personalities. Like a four, but oh yeah. So like if 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 I can get you one on one, yeah, and actually talk, no phones, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just put the phones away. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think we could. I think even for both of us, because you know we can what? we can talk exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gone. I'm out. See ya. In case anyone is wondering what just happened there, uh, Matt absolutely cannot stand, can't like, stand. Uh, interactions where yeah, when someone you, is yeah, stuck on the phone. When you're supposed to talk one on one, I think that was like your number one pet peeve, wasn't yeah. it? Like in the in the in the pet peeve show, yeah. Isn't that like top three, somebody on the like when you're on a date, yeah, yeah, and one person's just yeah. I walked out before. Oh, yeah. Adios. Have fun with your phone. Yeah. Make out with your phone, bitch. <laughs> Um, so I feel like for both of us, so if we're a six, we get a one-on-one, yeah. we'll get to that seven. We're, we'll get to yeah. the seven. You maybe know what I'm saying? Maybe creeping on eight. I mean, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, we're not, we're in the middle. Yeah. High cool. middle. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Upper, I, we're upper high middle, middle class. <laughs> middle class. <laughs> we're like upper middle class. <laughs> Woo! That's where... <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell myself I'm at. Oh, like for sure. middle class. Yeah. Makes me feel even... Uh, maybe we're just fours and we just don't... <laughs> maybe we're just in denial. <laughs> True. Maybe that's why we're so cool, because we're <laughs> ugly as shit. We're Damn. no threat to nobody. No. <laughs> no. We go walking into a bar and nobody's like, Damn. Yeah. Look that at dude's going to take my girl. Unless, nope. unless they think you're a pro golfer, then we got millionaires buying us drinks. Jesus Christ. They thought you were attractive that day. Oh, sure did. That was amazing. Oh, that was the best. So, yes, that is our one drink for the show. Yep. And if you're curious about that golf story, go watch our very first show. Please do. March 28th, 2020. Yep. Go watch it. And you can see the difference from now in our first show. Yeah, don't judge us based on that one. Yeah, so but it's still funny. Had a, it's a little slow. Had an Oakland A's <laughs> hat in the background. <laughs> I was super slow. Welcome to one <laughs> drink, a putt. And I wasn't even drunk. Like, we... No. We were just... It's our first show. Come on. Yeah. We were in uncomfortable stools. <laughs> yeah. I think by the end, I was, like, sitting like Oh, this. for sure. We needed back braces. Yep. Matt kept... <laughs> Matt kept doing this. Sniffing. <laughs> uh, it's great. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Anyways, guys... If you like this show and any of our other shows, if you like watching us go off on tangents about unicorns that don't really relate to anything, be sure to check out all of our other shows. You can find us on every single major platform where you listen to your podcasts. We're there, mm -hmm. everything, at One Drink Podcast. Be sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube page. Hit the like, sub button, click on that bell notification to be the first ones notified when our new episodes drop. Yeah. Woo! I got through that one pretty well, too. And all we ask is if you share with one person. Just one. We asked the same thing. We've asked this 400 times. Yep. Hey, it's funny, too, because Oliver shared one of his posts from his business, Colors by OG. <clears throat> nice plug. Someone else shared his post. That post got shared, and it only took one second. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think I got like a total of 10 shares on that one. So yeah, yeah. Look at that. Imagine if we got 10. We'd be a lot, we'll wait. We'd be a lot cooler. One, two, <laughs> Maybe. Three, Probably not. Four, five. <laughs> See? Boom. Five seconds. You have enough time. Five seconds, five shares? Oh, you guys are the best. Five for five. Anyways, guys, until next time. Cheers. Cheers.